guys, this is Constantine, the thrifty backpacker, and today I'm checking in Pavilion Garden. Using the pavilions as a framework. So initially I went the wrong way because the reception area is right there. Okay, and as soon as you check in, you go right there. That's really lucky with the weather today. So cloudy, and it was so good yesterday. So after we check in, a lady guides us to our hotel room, but nothing happens, of course. She just guides us there. Okay. So, and uh, yeah, initially I went here, I came here and it was wrong because I had to go to the reception area. But now I've already checked in, so we enter the apartment building and there are apartments here and you can see how nice it is here. It's uh, more quiet and uh, there's some kind of things, <laughs> I don't know what they are, something related to religion. And it's very comfortable to sit here, I guess. Maybe read a book in Vietnamese or in Russian. Okay. But not many people sit here because it's more comfortable to stay in the room. Okay, so I don't know, maybe some people leave their shoes, maybe, but not today. So, we're going to the fourth floor. And you can enjoy the elevator music. Heed and enjoy. Boom. Here is the floor. And everything is pretty nice. Maybe not super expensive, but pretty cute. Pretty cute. So there are plants here, and there are some rooms. They ask us not to open the window, although I can't feel that there is centralized AC working. The stairs are very small, so you'd rather take an elevator. And the routers are here. So the Wi-Fi signal is pretty good. There is a button if you need to get the room cleaned, you press it and uh, the cleaner will see it. Okay, so let's take a look at the room. So we insert the card and boom, this room is announced to be an apartment. And it's much bigger than an average hotel room and just guys reminding you it's just nine dollars can you believe that nine dollars just in comparison this is what you can get for a similar amount of money in some other countries all right so there's even a microwave here which looks pretty stylish unfortunately no stove i think there's some kind of flaw here and uh, I can't use this flip-flops, but I won't. I won't. Super clean here. So this is the room. Uh, the bed is huge. Oh, oh, not too hard, not too soft. Just optimal size. Optimal softness. And yo, we got a flat screen TV. All right, so there is centralized AC, which we can turn on here. So I said 25, maybe it's too much, 24. Okay, I like it when it's hot. There is a fan here and water is free and instant coffee is free. Not bad at all. So we've got this second table with a mirror and this table as well and some pictures okay so i tried to turn on the tv 
and uh, I don't know. So it started to set the channels, but then I left the room and uh, I think the process was aborted. So I gotta do it one more time. Okay, there is a fridge, unfortunately with nothing in it, but it's not bad, there is a fridge, damn it. All right, so there is a balcony, okay, so we've got some progress here. So there is already a window, but we can't see anything from here. But at least you can get out of there and it's allowed to smoke if you smoke. I don't smoke cigarettes, okay. All right, so what else? Let me show you the bathroom. Okay, so it's also pretty cute here, so it's nice to the touch. There is another mirror at the door. I'll say on the door. And I really like this mirror here. I like it so much. Okay, pretty fashionable faucet and a hair dryer. And the shower cabin looks very nice with a shampoo, with soap, a nice modern toilet seat with a bomb gun, with toilet paper, and a pretty nice design. Guys, $9. I don't know. It says that probably a normal price is $26, but you can write any price and give a discount. But anyway, it's pleasant to realize that it's only $9 and it is $9. And I know that um, debit card payments are not really common here, but here I was able to pay by card easily. So the TV is working and I just gotta wait until it scans all the channels. So I might be able to watch some Vietnamese TV. Uh, this table definitely lacks extra lights. It's a little bit too dark here. But yo, I can't complain, can't complain. The wardrobe is pretty spacious, although I don't need it. No corpses are inside. Yeah, is there a corpse? No. I wonder what kind of decoration is this? <sighs> Looks interesting. I've never seen such a thing before. And of course, the chair on top is this rug. Yeah, they really tied the room together. Which makes the place super comfy. Of course, not perfectly clean. I guess somebody peed on it. His wife goes out and owes money all over town and they pee on my rug? As it's supposed to be. This centralized air conditioning is working. I can definitely feel that. Almost there, come on. I just want to watch some Vietnamese television. Yeah, unfortunately, I wasn't able to show you the result of the search, but it said that uh, it found zero channels. Zero. Zero. So, no television, guys. Well, I can still watch YouTube, I guess. Maybe Netflix. Is it working? Come on. I don't really know whom to choose. Let's choose Gargi. I'm sorry, Gargi. I'm gonna use your account a little bit. I don't know who provided me with this account, but it's great to have it for free and watch some movies. Fall ball with chicken this time. All right, so I went up to the rooftop. Here is the rooftop. Well, might not be the best time to be here, to be honest. Yeah, I didn't lock myself out. Okay, so when the weather is nice, I think it's very comfortable to chill here. But not right now. So unlucky with the weather today. So it's possible to enjoy the sea view. Nobody seems to be swimming. Maybe just sit here, have a drink. And enjoy the vibe. There is the door to the other side as well, so there are two lounges here. And it's the sixth floor. Is it possible to go up the stairs? No, I don't think so. Don't bring the pads. Don't bring pads. Well, there isn't much of a view here. There's this tall building right here and the inner yard, so I think that part 
is definitely more fun. Look at this light. It's just perfect. Take a shower in the evening. And I found a kettle, by the way. So I can finally make some coffee. Finally, figured out how to use those lights. Now it looks better. Okay, finally moved up to the seventh floor to check out the pool area and the spa area. This is the building where the reception is. So it's another building. And uh, going out from the elevator, we enter the pool area, which is small and cute. So it's possible to lie down. And uh, this water is pretty cold. <laughs> Well, it's not too cold, it's like warm enough. Okay. So the pool is pretty small and uh, the view is nice though. You can chill here and enjoy the beach. And uh, there are some stairs here as well. I don't know where they will lead me to be honest. So there isn't much space here, but it's something. Avalon Garden. Every time I thought it's called Pavilion. Let's see, I don't know if I'm allowed to go up the stairs, but I'm kind of curious. So let's explore what's on the second floor. Okay, so these are apartments. I don't think I'm really allowed to be here. Um, this building has also an nice swimming pool. Okay, so the bottom doesn't look very clean. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's alright, it's just old, but the water seems to be clean, maybe a little bit cleaner than the hostel where I stayed earlier. This is the restaurant, okay, so I arrived too late and I should probably check it out tomorrow. Although they announced the restaurant, they announced breakfast, maybe I should have done it in advance because there is nothing down there. Damn. So lucky with the weather this morning, although although it is expected to rain. What the hell is he looking for? Landmines in the sea? What is he doing? The sea looks amazing today. Really, really good. Everything is very clean. On one hand there is a beach and on the other hand there is a city. Went to this nice cafe for breakfast. I specialize in breakfasts and um, it's not very expensive. Not so many people here. Pretty much like South American vibe. Some breakfast. Not very ex expensive, just a few dollars. And also some cheese sandwich. Alright guys, just gonna check out right now. Wait a minute. I don't wanna leave yet. Fortunately, they didn't have this apartment for one more night, so I had to move to another room which is the same price but unfortunately it's some kind of downgrade for me the previous room was amazingly good this one is much simpler but it's still okay so it's also eight dollars per night which is a great price and they even have a safe here okay and a tiny fridge this room is pretty nice maybe not so cute as it was there but it's also nice okay the fridge is smaller the tv set is smaller but it's still good still good for eight dollars the bathroom is not so fancy but it's clean and they also have everything that is needed a shower with a bidet okay some soap some shampoo and uh, the heating system is not really centralized here, but well, the AC is working like this, so it's good. The bed is huge. 
and very comfortable to sit on and to lie on. Okay, I have some water, which I didn't have there. I have phone, which I didn't have there. Okay, and uh, some coffee. And I have a spacious balcony, so I can go outside and chill and look outside on the street so the view is much better. Okay. So yeah, not bad at all. It's a little bit rusty, <laughs> but it's fine. The only thing that, that I don't like is that I cannot close I cannot lock the door here, it just doesn't lock. And um, I don't think that the, there will be any Spider-Man jumping from that side. So theoretically it is possible, but I don't think that anyone will do it. And there's a plant here. Okay, so I'll keep staying here and enjoying this place. One more night. Nice lighting. Very simple, but perfect for work. I might be stupid now, but... There is no ventilation here. What the hell? No ventilation in the bathroom. No switch. Well, at least the window can be open. So good to stay at the balcony in the evening. It's so warm. So light. Okay guys, so it's time for me to check out right now and I should say that in general this um, hotel is pretty good uh, but the quality is really different so the apartments are pretty cool and it's very good value for money when you're given a discount okay it's getting loud outside okay so with a discount it's really really great however you know the second day or the third day I don't remember this apartment was unavailable and of course these rooms are not so good they're in another building it's techier and the quality is worse so my recommendation if you stay here you stay in this apartments and hopefully the value for money is really really good okay guys thank you very much for watching subscribe to this channel to see more interesting videos about cheap accommodation and activities and give this video a like and see you guys later bye